here uh, we have a math Olympiad problem. Uh, we have to solve for the variable x in the given equation. Okay, in the given equation, uh, we have the variable x at the exponent. In any equation, if I'm trying to solve for the variable that is at the exponent, I have to get the same base on both sides of the equation. Once I get the same base on both sides of the equation, I can equate the exponents and I can solve for the variable x. Okay, to get the same base on both sides of the uh, equation, I have to simplify this expression on the left side. Okay, the expression on the left side over here contains the 9 to the 9th power at everywhere. Okay, to simplify this expression easily, uh, I'm going to take a new variable, say y, uh, for 9 to the 9th power. So in the expression on the left side over here, I can plug in y for 9 to the 9th power. So if I plug in y for 9 to the 9th power, so the numerator of the expression over here will become y times y times y. Then I'm getting y times y times y in numerator and in denominator y positive y positive y. On the right side, I'm taking this 9 to the x to power as it is. So here uh, in numerator, we have a uh, product of three y's and uh, now each y is having exponent 1. Actually, there's no exponent for uh, y, so I have to assume there is exponent 1. So here we multiply three terms with the same base. Uh, we can use a product rule of uh, exponents. Whenever we multiply our terms with the same base, we can take the base once and we have to add the exponents. So we get 1 positive 1 positive 1 over. So here, uh, when I combine uh, the three y's, that is, uh, we have addition of three y's in denominator, so it is equal to 3y equals to 9 to the x to the power. So here on uh, the next step, y to the power, 1 positive 1 positive 1 will be y to the third power uh, over 3y equals to 9 to the x to the power. Okay, in the next step, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this y to the third power as y square times y divided by this 3y can be taken as it is, that is 3 times y equals to 9 to the x to the power. So here I can cancel this y and y. So in the next step, I'll be getting y square over 3 equals to 9 to the x to the power. Okay, now uh, the simplification of the expression on the left side is over. Now uh, we can replace uh, y by the original stuff 9 to the 9th power. So if I replace this y by 9 to the 9th power, I'll be getting 9 to the 9th power whole square over 3. On the right side, we have 9 to the x to the power. Okay, here we can uh, use the power of a power rule of exponent. So whenever we have two exponents like this, we can multiply the two exponents. So I'm getting 9 to the 18th power because 9 times 2 is 18 over 3 equals to 9 to the x to power. Okay, already we know that uh, 9 equals to 3 square because when I multiply 3 by itself, that is equal to 9. So 9 can be written as 3 square. So here in this equation, so the base 9 over here, the base 9 over here can be replaced by 3 square. So why should we re replace uh, these two bases by 3 square? So because already we have 3 over here, if I write this 9 in terms of base 3 and this 9 in terms of base 3, I'll have the complete equation in terms of base 3. So I'll have a chance to get the same base on both sides of the equation. So I'm going to replace uh, so the base over here, the base over here by 3 square, that is 9 by 3 square. So if I plug in 3 square for this 9, I'll be getting 3 square 4 to the power 18 over 3 equals to, uh, I can plug in 3 square for this 9, then I'll be getting 3 square whole to the power x. Again, I can use the power of a power rule of exponent, that is uh, I can multiply these two exponents. So I'm getting 3 to the power 36 over 3 equals to 3 to the power so here again, I can multiply uh, the two exponents over here. 2 times x is 2x. And uh, for this 3, we have to assume there is exponent 1. So here, uh, I divide two terms with the same base. So that is, I can use a coefficient rule of exponents. That is, whenever I divide uh, two terms with the same base, I can write the base once and subtract the exponents. That is 36 negative 1 equals to 3 to the power 2x. So the next step, 3 to the power, uh, 36 negative 1 will become 35 equals 3 to the power 2x. Here, uh, two terms are equal with the same base. The base on the left side is 3. The base on the right side is also 3. 
So whenever two terms are equal with the same base, we can equate the exponents. So 35 equals to 2x. That is, if I equate the two exponents, I'm getting the equation 35 equals to 2x. My aim is to get the value of x. So to solve for x, I have to divide both sides by 2. So this 2, 2 will cancel out. And when I divide 35 by 2, it will be 17.5. So I've solved for x. So in the given equation, the value of x is 17.5.